when Mila and Ariana were born, I went from the happiest moment of my life to a moment of uncertainty in a matter of seconds. And you realize how fragile life is. And I think one of the first things I saw is this is so unfair. When I found out I was having twins, it was a beautiful moment. The pregnancy, even though I was high risk, mostly passed without really a hitch. When I went into labor at 35 and a half weeks, Ariana was born smaller than normal. And you could immediately see a difference between Mila and Ariana. Ariana was a lot smaller. And they literally like rushed her off the room. So she was taken into the NICU and that's when she was examined and um, we found out that she was born with a congenital heart condition. understood it at first. They said, you know, maybe it'll close on its own. It wasn't very clear exactly what her diagnosis was until much later is when we start to realize, okay, this is not something that's going to resolve on its own. Ariana was the first one to walk. Ariana was the first one to try solids. You know, Ariana is somebody that is very active. Her sister gets tired before her. And it's almost like she protects her sister. For all intents and purposes, she's a normal child. But that's also a double-edged sword because you do have to understand that at some point you will have an intervention, you know, that will likely have a scar. And then the fear of when is this going to happen? Because right now our strategy is, is, is to, you know, get that first operation when she's an adult, 18, 19. There's way more options when you have an adult heart. The longer we can change that first operation to the future, the better off she's going to be. Which one is Ariana? And which one is Mila? Who's excited to raise your hand? Who is not excited to raise your hand? Why, Mila? I'm nervous. I'm Ariana Rincon. I'm nine years old and I go to Laureate Park Elementary School. I'm Mila Rincon. I'm nine years old and I go to Laureate Park Elementary. When I grow up, I want to be like a doctor for kids with the same condition or probably part of the American Heart Association. What I want to be when I want to grow up, I want to be like Taylor Swift. The American Heart Association means a lot to our family. They have given Ariana extremely life-changing experiences like Cambari Creek, where she meets peers that are even younger that have had an operation. So it gives you hope. It gives you like, okay, so they got through it, so we can get through it. In second grade, which is when it really started to click with her, that this is the association that advocates for people like me. That's when she started thinking about ways that she could help. And we landed on bracelets. She started making these bracelets. Luckily, the, the students and friends around her really responded to it. Her sister helps design them, and she makes them. And she started selling them to her friends. Making these bases is so important because um, um, number one, me and Mila create quality time and we like doing it. And number two, we make other people happy with bracelets. And number three, it helps other kids. Ariana is my best friend because she's really nice to me and she shares things with me. And I love her so much. I would want to say to her, 20 years down the line, you, you did it. You survived this. I would tell her that I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of her. You know, I mean, that she took on, you know, from, from day one, so many things that, as a father, you know, it's supposed to be the opposite, but I think, we, we, you know, we learn from Ariana. I want the kids that are going through a similar thing to be brave, be fearless, and that everything will be okay. Um, thank you for everybody that's helped me 
and including all the doctors that help other people like me, including Dr. Bradley and Dr. Dalani. Dr. Dalani, if you're out there, I'm really thankful for you and congratulations for your new job.